It's a bold claim, but supporters of aquaponics say it could be the solution to dealing with droughts across the world. It involves growing plants using natural waste from fish and saves 90% more water compared to normal farming. While it is already being used on, on a handful of farms, some say adopting the technique in the home could boost food security from the U.S. to Africa. CGTN's Francis Reed reports. In a small home in California, about 190 kilometers north of Los Angeles, Sherry Reitmer is growing thousands of plants a year. But these need no daily watering, no weeding, and there's no waste. In fact, there's no soil to be seen. This is a 160 square foot space, and we grow almost 1,500 plants. She's created her own aquaponic system, which uses natural waste from fish to feed the plants. It's really basically very simple. We have the water with the, with the fish, and then the water is pumped up through these tubes up to the top of the towers. The drips go down the towers and the, the plants actually gather the nutrients from the water and then the water returns back clean to the fish. And many supporters of aquaponics think this could be the solution to growing food in droughts, especially in Africa. Shari's already had inquiries as to how systems like hers could be used in houses in Kenya. We utilize 95% less water than regular agriculture. Our produce grows three times larger, three times faster, and in our case, 12 times less space than regular agriculture. Just down the road, farmers use thousands of gallons of water to irrigate this arid land, keeping up with constant demand for food. California is the agricultural powerhouse of the USA and that means much of its water is used in places like this. More than 200 different types of crops are grown across the state, but it is a place that's really suffered from drought. And so many argue something like aquaponics could provide a solution to grow food across the world where there's a lack of water. But not everyone thinks it's that simple. Scientists like Donald Manahan say no technique can be scaled up to the size needed to meet global demand. I don't see the magic bullet, one system working globally. We have roughly 7 billion people on the planet today, and approximately 20 or 30 years from now, we may have 9 billion people. So roughly speaking, we need a third more food within a generation. The concept of thinking about sustainable food production from the local to the global is one I think one of the greatest challenges facing human sustainability in the 21st century. But supporters of aquaponics say that means it has to be part of the solution because otherwise where there's no water there can be no food. Francis Reed, CGTN, Taft, California.